Hello viewers, I am Dr. Kiran Pedi, Consultant Gastroenterologist from Hyderabad. We will talk about pancreatitis. Pancreas is an extremely important organ located in the stomach. This is commonly known as organ of insulin where the insulin gets produced. And there are certain specific diseases which can affect pancreas gland. What are these conditions? The three common conditions are acute pancreatitis, chronic pancreatitis and pancreatic cancers. Let's look at pancreatitis itself in this video. Pancreatitis is nothing but inflammation of the pancreatic gland. That means swelling of the pancreatic gland. What can cause this? The acute pancreatitis is due to sudden insult to the pancreatic organ commonly by excess alcohol intake or gallbladder stones which are dropping into the bile pipe and touching the pancreas. Sometimes excess lipids, excess triglycerides excess calcium, all of this can cause inflammation of the pancreas that is called acute pancreatitis. What can uh, be done if somebody got acute pancreatitis or how do we suspect? If you have sudden severe abdominal pain, especially if it is going to the back, you suspect acute pancreatitis. You may become sick sometimes, you may be vomiting and you may feel very very unwell with it. So please do not neglect, consult the nearest specialist for that. So, from doctor's point of view, when we suspect acute pancreatitis, we do examination and see where is the location of the pain, type of the pain and all. Then, we send a sample for serum amylase and lipase, which is a simple blood test which can give a very good information whether the patient has pancreatitis or not. So, if the acute pancreatitis is diagnosed, then next step would be to look for the causes immediately. Any risk factors like alcohol intake or gallbladder stones or calcium being high or cholesterol being high. If these are there, then that has to be addressed. And most of the time, we need patient to be admitted for treating pancreatitis in the form of keeping, uh, giving pancreatic rest like nil by mouth, giving IV fluids and sometimes antibiotics, sometimes treating the cause like removal of gallbladder pancreatic uh, stones and sometimes common bile duct stones by doing ERCP procedure. Most of the good thing about pancreatitis is most of the patients do well with acute pancreatitis but small proportion of patients would go on to develop complications like necrotizing pancreatitis, a pseudocyst, what you call walled off pancreatic necrosis and sometimes fish loss, pancreatic fish loss, sometimes respiratory, the lung involvement, sometimes kidney involvement sometimes an inflammatory response called SARS response which can be life threatening sometimes. So all these patients need to be monitored closely in intensive care setup and treated aggressively prevent any complications. The other type of pancreatitis is called chronic pancreatitis. Now one of the myths is chronic pancreatitis is something dangerous and acute is not. The matter of fact is chronic means this has been having for a long time. Doesn't mean it is more dangerous than acute. Sometimes acute is much more dangerous than chronic. Chronic pancreatitis could be because of again regular alcohol intake or sometimes tropical pancreatitis especially in Indian subcontinent. Because of environmental changes and all, patient can get changes in the pancreatic gland in the form of calcifications and that is called chronic calcified pancreatitis. Sometimes people get abnormal genes can lead to genetic hereditary pancreatitis. In addition to this, a patient can get sometimes without any reason chronic pancreatitis. How do we identify if somebody is having long standing abdominal pain that is radiating to the back? We suspect chronic pancreatitis and evaluate appropriately. What sort of tests can be done? Simple tests like ultrasound abdomen and CT scan can tell us the patient has got chronic pancreatitis or not and then go on to investigate in the form of uh, looking at risk factors like uh, uh, lifestyle risk factors or hereditary factor genetic testing all these need to be worked out. So once the diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis is confirmed the treatment would be a supportive treatment mainly in the form of pain relief. Somebody may be having pancreatic duct stones they can be removed by ERCP by doing endoscopic uh, ERCP endoscopic method of removal of pancreatic stones if they are very small. If the duct stones are large, patient can be subjected to a procedure called ESWL, kind of a laser treatment which 
pulverizes the stone and then after that patient would require ERCP. Sometime patient may require surgery and uh, uh, by uh, uh, suturing the duct, pancreatic duct to small intestine, we can reduce the pressure in the pancreatic duct thereby giving some symptomatic relief. Nowadays, we do uh, a procedure called EUS guided celiac plex blockage or celiac plexus neurolysis for cancer patients to give symptomatic relief of pain where we inject around the pancreatic nerve supply by doing endoscopic ultrasound. Endoscopic ultrasound is a methodology where a scanner is attached to the endoscope, the scope goes inside, looks at the pancreas closely where we can inject around the pancreas. So, viewers, pancreatitis is an extremely important condition which should be suspected if you got severe abdominal pain, vomiting, going to the back, feeling unwell with it. Do consult specialist straight away, do take treatment, preferably as an inpatient and minimize your risk factors. Thank you.